Hi preschoolers and preschool families, Miss Holokai here and today I wanted to um, do a little bit of handwriting and talk about the chalkboards and the chalk that you have in your baggie. So the handwriting program that we use is called Handwriting Without Tears. Uh, I piloted the program um, about eight or nine years ago and I asked the um, Board of Education if we could adopt it and um, all of our preschool programs use it. And the reason I like it is because it was developed by an occupational therapist and they're like fine motor experts. They know all about handwriting and the handwriting progression and things you can do to help kids write and it's just so kid friendly. And I've seen a very dramatic progress from the beginning of the year to the end of the year with this program. So you have here your little slate, right? And uh, the reason that it's nice is th that this is nice for handwriting is because it's small and there's these edges and it helps the kids when they're doing um, letters like L and uh, you know the, the long line for B and P. They can go right along this line and it gives them like a sensory feedback to know, oh, I'm, I'm drawing a straight line. That smiley face is supposed to be a reminder for the students to always start their letters at the top. Um, a lot of children, they'll want to stop, start from the bottom to the top, but that's not the correct way to form letters and it's going to make writing more cumbersome and harder to do always go top to bottom. So that's what that little smiley face uh, is supposed to be a reminder for. And there's a little song that goes with it. It goes like this. Where do you search your letters at the top? Where do you search your letters at the top? If you want to start a letter, then you better, better, better remember to start them at the top. Is this the top, top, top? No, it's the bottom. Is this the top, top, top? No, that's the middle. Is this the top, top, top? Yes, it's the top, top, top. Where do you start your letters at the top? <laughs> and so uh, the first letter we're going to do is A, obviously. We're going to go right down the alphabet. Now, A, for the letters, we're going to focus on uppercase. And the reason for that is the uppercase letters are... Um, a lot of more of a gross movement instead of a fine movement um, with because it's very hard for kids to do curves and small figures but if it's a large figure where they're using more of their elbow and their whole arm it's easier for them to do so in preschool we focus mostly on just the uppercase letters now if they surpass that if they go past that uh, and they're ready to go on to lowercase we'll start doing lowercase too a lot of our students um, they master the uppercase letters and then by the end of the year they're doing lowercase and we're teaching them to write their full name with the uppercase you know at the beginning and then the lowercase but for now let's just start out with uppercase and when we're doing a letter we also we we do the letter the sound and a key word so we'll, we'll say something like this a apple a ah. a apple a ah. and repeating that little mantra helps them to remember uh, the the sound and the letter and a, and a little keyword that helps them remember that sound. And doing that over and over and over again helps the muscle memory. So you have your slate and you have your chalk. Now if I gave you a small piece of chalk that's good. If I gave you a large piece of chalk break it break it in half, break it into smaller pieces. Because the smaller a writing instrument is, the easier it's going to be for them to facilitate that modified tripod grasp. Remember I said if you have a large writing instrument, they're gonna to wanna to palm it, but if it's teeny weeny, they have to go like this. And so, you know, you can have your children, you know, start at the A, and we, we call these lines big lines. Lines like this we call little lines, and then we have big curves like a C and little curves like this. So we'll say start at the top, big line goes down, big line goes down, little line across, A, apple, A. Ah. Um, and 
so you, some of you might have been wondering, well, what is the deal with this little sponge? Well, if children are just starting out with handwriting and they're having a lot of difficulty, there are several ways to use this. This is for teachers and for parents um, to help modify the lesson if they need some extra help. So what you can do is you can form the letter and then they can take the wet sponge and trace over top like that. Or you can reverse it, make it with the sponge, and then have them trace it. Okay? So that's how to use the slates. And we'll be using, we'll be starting to use these this week. All right. Thanks. Bye.